Spurs will officially open their new 62,000-seater stadium when they host Crystal Palace in the Premier League on April 3. The club have given their under-18s the chance to become part of history as they take on Southampton in front of around 30,000 fans this afternoon. Tottenham will also host an exhibition game between some of the club's legends and Inter Milan later this month. If they can successfully host both occasions, they will be handed the relevant safety certificates from Haringey Council. First-team manager Mauricio Pochettino was one of those in attendance at today's match, and he suited up for the grand occasion. As the players emerged from the tunnel for the first time he was pictured smiling with chairman Daniel Levy and enjoying the moment. The Argentine will be keeping his eyes on one player in particular for the home team. His 17-year-old son, Maurizio, is on the bench for Tottenham and will be looking to show the fans what he can do. The young midfielder has scored two goals in nine U18 Premier Loa matches this season. His dad is keen for Tottenham to hold at least one training session at their new ground before the Pound's one billion facility is official opened. Spurs are set to host Manchester City in the Champions League on April 9 in the first leg of their quarter-final. Those fans who are unable to attend have been left furious that the first match against the Eagles will not be shown on Sky Sports. The opening ceremony of the new stadium will be broadcast live, but City's clash with Cardiff will then take precedence and be shown instead. If all goes to plan, Tottenham will play the final five home games of the season against Palace, Huddersfield, Brighton, West Ham and Everton at their new ground. Janelle Bennett became the first ever Tottenham player to score the first goal at the new stadium. The youngster cut inside his full back before bending a beautifully curled shot into the far corner to the delight of the crowd. 